Good morning. Welcome to Winning Prayer on this Thursday morning. So glad you're able to join Tom and I. I have my nice hot tea on this day and I hope you have your morning beverage and let us begin. It's always good to start with the word of the Lord. O oh Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O oh, come, come, let us worship, worship him. him. Our psalm today is Psalm 130. Out of the depths have I called to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. If you, Lord, were to note what is done amiss, O Lord, who could stand? For there is forgiveness with you. Therefore you shall be feared. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits for him. In his words is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than watchman for the morning, more than watchman for the morning. O Israel, wait for the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, with him there is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. Let us pray. God of might and compassion, you sent your word into the world as a watchman to announce the dawn of salvation. Do not leave us in the depths of our sins, but listen to your church pleading for the fullness of your redeeming grace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, we continue in our reading today in uh, Isaiah in the 40, uh, 41st chapter, beginning with verse 17. When the poor and the needy seek water and there is none and their tongue is parched with thirst, I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open rivers on the bare heights and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. I will put in the wilderness the cedar, the acadia, the myrtle, and the olive. I will set in the desert the cypress, the plain, and the pine together, that men may see and know, my con may consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord has done this, the Holy One of Israel has created it. Set forth your case, says the Lord. Bring your proofs, says the king of Jacob. Let them bring them and tell us what is to happen. Tell us the former things, what they are, that we may consider them, that we may know their outcome or declare to us the things to come. Tell us what is to come hereafter, that we may know that you are gods, do good or do harm, that we may be dismayed and terrified. Behold, you are nothing, and your work is not, an abomination is he who chooses you. I stirred up one from the north, and he has come uh, from the rising of the sun, and he shall call on my name. He shall trample on rulers as on mortar, and the potter treads clay. Who declares it from the beginning that we may know, and beforehand that we might say he is right? There is none who declared it, none who proclaimed, none who heard your words. I first had declared it to Zion, and I gave to Jerusalem a herald of good tidings. But when I look, there is no one among these. There is no counselor who, when I ask, gives an answer. Behold, they are all a delusion. Their works are nothing. Their molten images are empty wind. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our second reading comes from Ephesians, the second chapter. We continue in the second chapter, beginning with verse 11 today. Therefore, remember that at one time, you, Galatians, uh, you Gentiles in the flesh called the uncircumcision by what is called the circumcision, which is made in the flesh by hands, 
Remember that you were at the time separated from Christ, alienated from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you, who once were far off, have been brought near in the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who has made us both one and has broken down the dividing wall of hostility by abolishing in his flesh the law of commandments and ordinances, that he might create in himself one new man in place of the two, so making peace and might reconcile us both to God in one body through the cross, thereby bringing the hostility to an end. And he came and preached peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him we both have access in the one spirit to the Father. So then you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone in whom the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple of the Lord, in whom you also are built into it for a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. Now Now in these past days, he has spoken to us by his Son, our Lord and Savior, begotten before all ages, revealed himself to the world. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born to the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory Glory to the the Father, and to the Son, to to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Lord and Savior, Savior, begotten before all ages, revealed himself to the world. Alleluia. Just had to take a sip of tea. Let us pray. Father in heaven, who at the baptism of Jesus in the river Jordan proclaimed him your beloved son and anointed him with the Holy Spirit, grant that all who are baptized into his name may keep the covenant that they they have made and boldly confess him as Lord and Savior, who with you in the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God in glory everlasting. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us Uh, to pray. The Lord. Huh? We're finished. We're doing the Lord's Prayer. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining Tom and I in this morning, this Thursday morning. And I hope you have a safe and blessed day. Pastor Matthew will be on this evening and I hope uh, to see you tomorrow morning. God bless you. Bye-bye.